Right, well, here we are in, the, in Kinshasa, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and we want to introduce this little solar-powered lens-cutting machine. It's been developed by Mission for Vision to enable us to provide glasses in these very remote areas. And although Kinshasa is a big city, um, the power supply is not adequate enough for us to be able to use sophisticated lens cutting equipment. One of the reasons why optometry is so poorly developed in Africa is because they don't have the means to make glasses. And there's no point in teaching people how to do eye testing if you cannot provide glasses to go with the prescriptions. So for this reason Mission for Vision has been developing uh, this equipment to enable us to provide glasses in these sort of environments and that way we can then have the ability to teach people and train people to do refraction and eye testing. And uh, so we're just trying the machine out. This is its second uh, trial run here in the Congo. And uh, as you can see, the machine is very small. We actually brought it in as hand luggage on the aeroplane. It has a very small battery, which is 24 volt. You can use car batteries, and uh, you could just put two car batteries together and they, they would work. And these batteries can be charged using solar panels. The machine itself sits on top of a little water tank, which is just a, a, a box that you can buy off the shelf and uh, the water is pumped using a small little 24 volt pump from the, uh, the water comes out of the tank through the tube at the back onto the cutting wheels here. We have two cutting wheels, one which um, cuts the lens down to the correct shape and the other is to put the bevel on to enable it to fit into the frame. Everything is manual we cannot employ any sophisticated computerization in this because in a place like this we, we wouldn't be able to maintain such equipment. So it has to be very simple so that if things go wrong it can be repaired in location. We have the lens former on this side of the, the lens arm assembly here and this will determine the shape. So you put the, uh, the former into this side of the machine and we then place the uncut lens into the lens holder right here. And we just make sure it's nice and firm. And we just give it a couple of turns, tighten it up, and then we place this clip on the screw there to stop it from unwinding while we are operating the machine. So this form then slowly lowers down onto this platform which is the same radius as the wheel and that enables the lens to take the shape of the, the former here. So we're just going to turn it on. Now you can put the lid on like that but for the purpose of the video we'll keep it up just so that you can see the lens being cut. This process may take two or three minutes, depending how thick the lens is. So it's doing quite well. It's nearly done. When this former is, is always on the, on the platform you know that the lens has reached its proper shape. We always make the lens a little bit bigger because we have to reduce the size on the, on the bevel wheel in a moment. And, uh, but there you can see the lens has been cut and it's, um, it's a fairly close uh, very close to the original shape. So we take the lens off. So you can see that it's quite a nice shape. The, uh, the frame is here. So the lens is a little bit bigger than the frame. And once we put the bevel on, the lens will fit. 
So to put the bevel on, you do need to have the, the lid open for this. And uh, what I do is to put the clip in there to keep that up. And just keep that from sliding. And then you can take the pad off. And this, is a, this takes a lot of practice. This is perhaps the hardest part. But once you've done about half a dozen glasses, you get really quite quick at doing it. But this puts the bevel on, and it's just learning how much pressure to apply according to the thickness of the lens. So we just keep doing that until we arrive at the right size. Okay, and as you can see, the lens is, is almost ready to go in. So this, this element does take a little bit of practice, but um, the idea is that we will be training up maybe um, four or five people in a laboratory on these machines. So we'll have a few of them so that they can uh, manage a bit more volume. And, uh, but the f beauty of this machine is that it will always usually work to, no matter what the, is happening to the power supplies on the main grid we can use this um, because it runs off DC current and that means that we should always have it as a backup no matter what else happens and it will always work.